In today's medical apps master class, we will learn about adenoviruses. Starting with the classification, it belongs to the double stranded unenveloped DNA virus category. There are around 50 serotypes of adenoviruses. The morphology, as already said, it's a linear double stranded DNA. It is non enveloped and its form is of a space vehicle or hexagonal in shape. Also, it has a potential to be used as a vehicle for gene therapy. Adenoviruses, the pathophysiology is the infection of the mucoepithelial cells. The infection generally the root would be uh, respiratory, fecooral or due to close contact and these are the systems which is generally infected because these are the systems which will have mucoepithelial cells, the respiratory, the GI, conjunctiva and cornea. So the there is a direct cell damage which leads to the following kind of infection. Common cold and coryza. Uh, this is one of the most important points because the most common cause of common cold is adenoviruses. Respiratory disease in children, serotype 1, 2, 5 and 6 are associated. It also causes acute respiratory disease in adult, serotype 4 and 7 is involved and acute respiratory distress in military recruits, serotype 4, 7 and 21 is involved. Also, pharyngeoconjunctival fever, serotype 3 and 7 is involved. Eye infections, it causes follicular or swimming pool conjunctivitis where serotype 3 and 7 is involved. It also causes epidemic keratoconjunctivitis where serotype 8, 19 and 37 is involved. It can cause gastroenteritis or diarrhea where serotype 40 and 41 is involved and hemorrhagic cystitis where serotype 11 and 21 is involved. One of the most important point is oncogenicity. Now serotype 12 and 15 has been found to be causing sarcoma in baby hamster but till date there is no evidence of any kind of oncogenetic activity in humans. This is a very important point and repeated questions have been asked on this that adenovirus has no evidence of oncogenicity in humans. Let's come to the diagnosis. The diagnosis is mostly clinical Viral culture may be used, uh, it's very slow but may isolate pathogen. PCR is a, a fast way to identify adenoviral pathogen. Treatment is mostly, uh, most infections are mild and do not require treatment. Even if there is treatment, it is mostly symptomatic and do not require any antiviral treatment. Prevention and control is very important. Vaccination in high risk, high risk are generally military recruits. In form of enteric coated vaccine is given and infection control in form of chlorination of swimming pools, contact and proper precaution is necessary. Adenoviruses, the most important points which has been asked in various PG interest examination are it's a linear double stranded DNA, non enveloped icosahedral symmetry. Now here important thing is all non enveloped viruses, either they are DNA viruses or RNA viruses will have icosahedral symmetry can be used as a vector in gene therapy. Diseases caused is respiratory infections, hemorrhagic cystitis, conjunctivitis and diarrhea. Pharyngeoconjunctivitis is caused by serotype 3 and 7, non-oncogenic to humans and the, it is one of the most common cause of common cold and coryza. So these are the question, uh, points on which uh, there has been questions in various PG interest examinations on adenovirus. Thank you.